All right, in this video, we'll see how to collect a simple random sample using spreadsheet. And uh, I'm going to do something similar to what you'll do on the application for experience one. I'm going to take a spreadsheet with a roster of students and get a simple random sample from that. So I have uh, some list of some students from um, another class here and uh, going to get a simple random sample of size four. So the first thing you want to do is to number the individuals in your population. And the nice thing about this setup is they're already numbered because each row has a name and each row is also numbered from one down to my last student is 23. All right, so you need to know uh, how many students you have. I'm going from one to 23 and uh, you don't want to have any spaces or any gaps there. And we'll be using the equals R A N D between, rand between. It'll be a pick a random number between any two numbers. Um, so if you start at one, then put one for the first number. Um, if you start at two or three, you can put two or three there. Uh, and then however far it goes down, put that for the second number. So mine goes down to 23, so I'm going to put a 23 for the second number. So that'll randomly pick a number between one and 23. And we hit enter to pick that number. All right, it's 21. So my first individual in the sample will be you know, Charlisha Kofa. All right, so we'll copy and then we'll paste her name there. And you notice that when I pasted that name, it automatically generated a new number. So that allows me to then just use that for the next individual. So 8 would go to Wendy Carlson. Copy and paste. F15 now goes to Tyler Horn, copy and paste, and 10 goes to Wilson Chaplain, copy and paste. Now it is possible that you can get the same number twice, even in a small list of say four or five numbers. If this happens, you don't include the individual twice, and you just skip over the number and go to the next one. So in order to get a, another number, I can uh, go to I think formulas and then hit calculate now and it'll automatically change that you can see that you could keep generating the numbers so uh, disregard duplicate numbers until you get four or however many you need distinct numbers and then thus uh, you know for a sample of size four I want four different names for a sample of size six I want six different names list the names and those individuals are then uh, in your sample you would then survey them or uh, take a measurement or do whatever you were going to do for your study.